Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, the reason you're seeing this video today instead of the normal reaction stuff is because of time I lost last night trying to fight with Billy Billy a little bit. At some point, I was locked out of my account uh, and I was forced onto a page that I didn't recognize, but I did translate it. I asked a few people in my Discord who are more familiar with the site. Uh, and did some searching on the side as well, just trying to figure out what was going on. And apparently it was a security measure. Uh, apparently my logins were being seen as suspicious and they effectively refused my access unless I offered a picture of my government ID, which it's not something I'm comfortable with. I, I will flat out refuse to share that sensitive information with any website. I don't care if it's a US-based website Website or not i don't like it that's why you don't see me on stuff like linkedin i've even deleted a paypal account for asking me to do the same thing before it's just not okay in my opinion there's information on things like driver's licenses that can be used and abused for identity theft and fraud and i really don't need some random person deciding to use my uh accounts as their own personal piggy banks which has happened to people i know before so it's a complete non starter for me that's the end of that you know like they asked my personal information to that degree no thank you a phone number perfectly fine an address sure not my government issued id i did for the record like try to contact their customer support and try to do an account recovery but they required information that i didn't even have through that so like on top of fighting through pages of stuff i had to like translate it on my phone because it was account recovery through the billy billy app i couldn't do it because it was asking me for information about games i had bought on the site when i have not done that at all so i couldn't even put the form through to request an account recovery and see if there was a way to bypass the id system because usually that's apparently reserved for people who want to like live stream and stuff but because of my account activity just logging in on a few different browsers it flagged my whole account as a threat which sure like i understand that this is how the site functions and those policies exist because there needs to be some sort of deterrent for people who do botting and such. Like, it does make sense, but it does also make it basically impossible for foreigners like me to utilize the site in any way when you don't have a dedicated team of logistics people whose entire job is to handle that sort of thing. And I, I just can't do that. I am a small boy. I am just a tiny little man. I don't, I, don't, I don't have the money to pay a team of logistics people. And at the end of the day, I do understand why it happened, but I'm not going to fight for access on it knowing that this could very well happen again without warning a few days later. So the summary of this video is I'm not going to be uploading to Billy Billy myself anymore. I can't. Uh, if people want to continue uploading my videos in raw formats or if they want to add subtitles and upload them, that's always been fine. I'm totally chill with that. I don't have any problem with people re-uploading my content over there. I just figured it would be fun to try and do it myself, but that was stopped three days in. Uh, I do love the community on Billy Billy. They've always been really supportive of me over there, and they were excited when I was moving over there to put up content, but I can't do much about the current situation going forward. I don't see any way I can do that without violating my personal privacy and that is a, a hard line for me. So I do hope going forward that Billy Billy understands that these are issues and may put in some extra effort to improve the uh, foreign usability of this. I know that that's like a tall order to ask and is kind of unlikely in the grand scheme of things, but there are plenty of people I know who would love to use the site, but just find the bar of entry extremely difficult for obvious reasons. And this now being one that I've experienced, I now understand why. I know that they're at the mercy of uh, general regulations that they really don't have control of. So again, I'm not really anticipating that to change. But I also want to say that I don't hold anything against the site or any of the users or anything. It's nothing personal. It's my choice deciding not to move forward and try to do that account recovery thing. But that's pretty much the long and short of it. I understand that not everyone's going to be happy about this. And I did talk to a few people who were kind of 
more confused why I wasn't okay with the ID thing. But again, that's more of a, uh, a personal opinion. I just am not comfortable with that. So at the end of the day, that's the final sentence. And if I ever do in the future, it'll depend on the happenstances that are yet to be seen. But otherwise, normal videos back tomorrow. We got some cool stuff coming very, very soon, including the interview with Obadiah Brown Beach. So I hope you're all excited for that. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!